I'm Christina from Brooklyn Dreams and today I'm missing Maya because we, as Maya said, did not um, manage to meet up to film this video so she gave you her wrap up on Wednesday, I'm gonna give you mine today so this is basically a story of how I participated in two readathons kind of managed to do one the other one was just a total bust basically because I have a lot of work these like two weeks so yeah but let's just get started so I participated in the medieval aton and the reading rush the reading rush is the one where I kind of just just didn't happen the way I planned it oh gosh I forgot to put my books closer okay so uh, the medieval aton was a readathon where you kind of get to become you know like a peasant a squire knight countess ca uh, princess queen so I did manage to read nine books in total this month so technically I managed to become queen because you needed to read six books to become a queen so yeah crown on my head technically I didn't earn the crown because I didn't read a book where a character fights for the throne so you know like a queen I am anyways let's just get started and see what books I did read also since you could kind of um, get a garb you know as a queen I <laughs> managed to get a cape like a red cape, so at least I'm not a naked queen. I was really stressing about the fact that I would probably become a queen, but I would be naked. So I think I have a red cape and I have, you know, like a, uh, like a, th this part of the body armor and the shins. So I guess I did well. I'm not completely, you know, like a naked, but let's get going. So first off, what I read were two books uh, in a series uh, that were actually like leftovers from June and those were Fuse and Burn by Juliana Baga. These are the second and third book in the Pure series. And this is a story about Presia, who is a survivor of uh, like, and not an up apocalypse but you know some shit happens on earth and she has a doll fused to her ha uh, hand and all the people around her are actually very you know like fused with stuff and I can't find the word because it's too early in the morning um anyways uh, they're not you know pure as the first book is titled but they're fused as the second one is and basically we follow her uh, in her journey to find out what actually happened to find potentially a cure and she has uh, along with her a set of uh, different uh, and weird and interesting characters uh, I gave the second book two, four stars and the third book three stars um, I noticed in my review that I actually had the same problem with it I liked the writing I liked uh, uh, the whole world because it was gritty and grimy and dark and there was a lot of bad emotions going on but at the same time there was this whole portion with a love triangle and a lot of lovey-dovey feelings and a lot of uh, I would never abandon you and stuff like that and which just didn't sit well with me in the context of the entire series where everything was and it wasn't like you know like a hopeful love where you could say okay but this is like something good in the book it just it kind of just frustrated me because it took me out, out of the whole you know it was just too childish for me but then again they are children so you know god knows anyways i mean i like the entire series so yeah i really enjoyed it then i read taste of marrow by sarah gailey this is the second novella in the american hippo series and i absolutely loved it it was um full of action and we got to meet uh, uh, dive more deeply into some of our characters 
and I actually enjoyed it I think more than the first one so this is basically a story about uh, America that gets uh, that imports hippos because they were like this big famine and it's alternate history basically but it's really fun it's uh, there's a lot of uh, diverse characters you have a non-binary character you have like a, bis a lot of bisexual characters um yeah also you have also different et ethnicities and it's so well incorporated in the entire book i just absolutely adore it so like thumbs up just a big recommendation if you want to read something short but sweet and like for laughs American Hippo series by Sarah Gailey is an absolute must. I love it. Okay, what uh, do I have then? Uh, okay, so then I read Snap uh, by Belinda Bauer. So this is, I would say, like a mystery with uh, some psychological elements because this is a story about a young boy, a 14-year-old boy who has to take care of his sisters after his mom basically disappears one day from the side of the road and while they're in the car waiting for her and Belinda Bauer does it again with the whole child psychology which just gosh I loved seeing how Jack struggles um with just keeping up the family at 14 and having no parents and just uh, I loved how the book didn't shy away from raw emotion from the brutality and the hardships of you know taking care of a family at such a young age and taking responsibility for your own and other people's lives and uh, but uh, the one thing I really it did bother me was the fact that the one adult character one of the adult, few of the adult characters that was there was so utterly, like, I was so frustrated by her actions and lack thereof. Because it was just so crazy. But again, I loved the book. It was really, like, hard-hitting. And I gave it four stars. Then I read uh, Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Another book that I thoroughly enjoyed i'm so happy i bought it i'm so happy maya recommended it to me just not just because the cover is absolutely gorgeous let's just face it it's gorgeous but i loved the entire book i loved how um uh, it was more about the entire world about how the magic system works about the about uh, the uh, the war and the people rather than the budding romance between the two main characters um and i just i just thoroughly enjoyed it so this is a story about agnieszka who finds out that she um has a bit of magic in her and this sorcerer wizard takes her away to his uh, tower and teaches her magic and I loved how un how unnerved he is by her uh, because he's so set in his ways and she just kind of rocks his world in the sense that she just kind of gets him out of his you know routine and stuff and I absolutely I absolutely adored it four stars I don't know I I, I can't review books right now but I absolutely enjoyed this one okay uh what is next oh right so i read hidden figures by margot lee shatterly i think Maya already told you a bit about it in her wrap-up or last month i'm not sure but uh i gave it two stars unfortunately this is a story about a bunch of black women who helped kind of set up nasa and were very crucial in doing the calcula calculations for a lot of different uh, you know like space stuff and things but I gave it two stars because it was a lot of information that it was so info dumpy that I basically lost the woman the women in there I just uh, I just didn't um, I, I, I found myself trying to remember what the names of the characters were and I really didn't like that I 
it, there was so much information i appreciate that but it was just too much because i didn't i didn't retain all of it i didn't retain most of it just because it was um you know like this happened and this happened and this happened and you know at that point one of the cares was here i felt almost like they were like in the like some kind of side characters that were not important and I do not just that just didn't sit well with me because I really liked the story and it was very interesting but that just kind of put me off okay then <laughs> then I had like this whole thing where the reading rush started and I needed to read books and then I just fell into a slump and the only thing I wanted to read were romances so I read American Panda by Gloria Cha I get four stars I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought this was going to be a teenage romance kind of thing. It ended up being a story about a girl that is trying to kind of um, find a balance between her American culture and her Chinese culture and she's fighting with her family to kind of uh, have her own say in her own life and i absolutely adored this book it was very hard uh it got me close to tears at some points because it was very harsh but i enjoyed it so much i i learned a lot and i would totally recommend it it was a really good read there was a really nice romance be uh, uh right uh in the middle of all of that but it wasn't overpowering it was really like more of a subplot that was like cute to have a bit just to kind of you know, relieve stress from all the hard things that were happening with her family. Then I read Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. And I have <laughs> that one. Well, I guess I'm going to give it five, five stars. I thought I was giving it four because like it dwindled in the end. But maybe I'm going to change it to five because just like I read it in one day. I literally, thank God I can choose when I work, but I literally skipped a day of work to read the entire book. I was totally enthralled and in, in, in the book. Um, so this is a story about a girl that is again actually having difficulties with her family and she's trying to find out, find out how to deal with this. And at the same time, she has this boy, her former best friend, and something happened to their relationship. Oh, and we're trying to find out what and why do it they don't talk to each other anymore and I absolutely loved it. I loved uh, how there was this like difficult part where you dealt with real problems and there was this cute love part where you know you got to you know distress from it. I love how that how it wasn't very you know like um it had some trope but it wasn't mushy and stuff like that you know they, you know, acknowledge their sexuality, they have sex, they use condoms while they have sex, which is a very nice thing to see in a book. Please, people, learn this. And, like, I just thoroughly enjoyed it. It was not a typical, you know, like, teenage romance. They were in the wilderness. I, like, literally, I want to go camping now because it just sounded so good in the book. And, yeah, so I don't know what to tell you. I really, really love the book. And finally, I think that's it for my books. Uh, I read, ooh, where is it? Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So maybe that's why I didn't read because this is like a very big book. I actually listened to it on audio. I gave it four stars. I know, uh, you know, it's Harry Potter. What to say about it? The one thing I did notice was there was no kiss between Ron and Hermione in the audiobook. And I, I don't know if I skipped it or what happened, but I'm I'm a very Ron, a very big Ron Hermione fan. It's like my childhood, you know, like ship. So I don't know. And I really missed it. So I, I have to go back through this and find that chapter just to read it so I can, you know, like fulfill my curiosity and love for them. Anyways, that is it. Oh my gosh, I was talking for so long. Okay. Uh, if you've read any of these books, please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. Also, go watch my videos and 
I will see you in our next video. Bye!